The government has warned against unregulated disposal of face masks in the country, saying careless disposal of the masks may increase the spread of the coronavirus instead of curing it. Now, or rather curbing it. Health Ministry wants masks uh, engineered as opposed to re-being dumped outside other than a solid waste. Let's get more from our very own Sam Aguino. Face masks have become the new norm to help prevent the spread of coronavirus from person to person. With a government order for people to wear face masks as a preventive measure, the streets are strewn with people donning all forms of masks, some disposable while some reusable. Being a new phenomenon in the country, it is breeding yet another challenge, that of disposing the masks once used while preventing a further spread of the virus from infected masks, more so at household levels. The health ministry in conjunction with NEMA have now released a disposal protocol on how to discard a used face mask. For homes, the ministry indicates all waste generated from a suspected or confirmed COVID-19 case should be separated and stored in a leak-proof bag. The bag to be clearly labeled, infectious waste is to be provided by a public health officer. The leak-proof bag is to be disinfected daily by the household, and when it is two-thirds full, the bag is to be placed at a designated area identified by the public health officer around the area for collection by ministry officials. As a country, we have this throwaway culture. We like really throwing things around and also mixing this waste, both biomedical waste and household waste. What we are guiding as authority is to tell the citizen these are highly infectious they must separate domestic waste from the infectious waste. For public areas, including retail outlets, offices, commercial properties, factories, bus parks and other public facilities, waste from these areas are to be treated as potentially infected. As such, the owners of these facilities are expected to provide colored leak-proof bags or containers for disposal of such masks and protective gear. A public health officer is to supervise the management of the waste from these areas. But ultimately, the owners and managers of these public spaces are to ensure the waste is managed by licensed medical waste handlers. Am I advising the citizens that they should have a separate bags for infectious waste? And the color code for this bag is yellow-coded colors. For quarantine and isolation centers, all protective gears are to be considered infected and should be placed in the leak-proof bags that should be disinfected daily. The waste bags or containers will consequently be collected, treated and transported to selected facilities for proper disposal. All vehicles and vessels used in ferrying the infectious waste for disposal are to be disinfected. Some of these, some of these are incinerated for the biomedical waste. But as I said, public health officials are going to guide on this to ensure that these things are insulated properly. The protocol cascaded to counties and sub-county administrators and health officials to ensure the regulations are adhered to to curb careless disposal of the protective gears that can potentially increase the risk of spread of the virus that they are supposed to mitigate. Sam again, Citizen TV, Nairobi.